Some reports emerging in the media have claimed America is lagging behind China in artificial intelligence. But U.S. Navy's Sea Hunter project has achieved something truly amazing. Medium displacement unmanned surface vehicle MDUSV, Sea Hunter has become the first craft to ever sail from San Diego, California to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii and back without needing any onboard crew. Viewers may note that the round trip is almost 5,200 miles. On January 31, 2019, Litos, the lead defense contractor for the Sea Hunter project, announced this achievement in a press release. Gary Fasano, Litos Defense Group president, said in the press release, "The Sea Hunter program is leading the world in unmanned, fully autonomous naval ship design and production." The recent long-range mission is the first of its kind and demonstrates to the U.S. Navy that autonomy technology is ready to move from the development and experimental stages to advanced mission testing. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes U.S. Navy's Sea Hunter unmanned surface vessel. Let's get into the details. In January 2019, on the sidelines of the annual Surface Navy Association's main annual conference, U.S. Navy Rear Admiral John Neagley, the service's program executive officer for unmanned and small combatants, offered some insight into breaking defense. He told, Part of the value of having unmanned surface vehicles is you can get capacity at a lower cost. As of now, the U.S. Navy is looking at Sea Hunter as an unmanned platform packed with sensors that can roam around the oceans autonomously with the ability to act as decoys, scouts, and an EW vessel. This concept is named as Electromagnetic Maneuver Warfare by the service. The Sea Hunter project was initiated by DARPA. It was initially called Anti-Submarine Warfare Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel Act of. In 2016, Oregon Ironworks, now called Vigorworks, built Sea Hunter. In January 2018, DARPA turned the vessel over to the Office of Naval Research. To start with, Litos was involved only with providing the navigation system for the vessel. But later on, it took over the full project. The company has headquarters in Virginia. The company has already secured a contract to build a second MDUSV, which will be an upgrade over this and is being named as Sea Hunter 2. During the trip, Sea Hunter had manned escort throughout. As per Litos, personnel did board the vessel to perform regular checks. It's not clear if any repairs were required during the long journey. U.S. Navy is still charting out long-term plans on how the vessel of this kind can be deployed in the future as there are a lot of possible use cases. Presently, MDUSVs like the Sea Hunter is being envisioned for three kinds of missions. Let's check them out one by one. 1. Scout A group of MDUSVs working together could potentially gather lots of intelligence regarding threats like enemy warships sea mines, submarines, as well as land-based assets. This will greatly increase the situational awareness and help in making tactical decisions. Since they are much more cheaper to operate and need no crew, they can be deployed extensively. MDUSVs could travel ahead of U.S. Navy's carrier strike groups looking for various types of threats. 2. Decoy Large warships like cruisers, destroyers, and aircraft carriers can be targeted by high-speed boats, missile-firing fast attack craft, small submarines, sea mines, and land and air-launched anti-ship missiles. The MDUSVs could be used as decoys that could shield the more valuable assets. They could emit signals making them look like a proper warship and divert enemy's focus. Also, they can be used to act as a shield in case of eventuality where these crafts could come in between a warship and enemy's missile and torpedoes. 3. Electronic Warfare The unmanned vessels could be equipped with electronic warfare suits. 
These systems could be used to jam enemy radars and sensors. They could work in conjunction with other platforms to overwhelm adversaries with electronic warfare, giving American forces major advantage in battle. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.